Hi everybody, Mike Kelly again from AnimatorsForum.com. I want to uh, do this video, and, and first of all, let me state that I'm going to make all of this available in the uh, public area. Not, not that we have a private area of our forum, but we do have a VIP scripting area that you have to have participated a bit in order to be able to get into the forum. Everything's still free, but I'm going to put this in the public area because my idea is that the more people that use this, the better. But I'm going to talk. I've, I've talked in the past about lip syncing. And let me just state, without going into a lot of detail, that the auto lip syncing in Anime Studio is crap. It's completely crap, and if you want to use it, fine. You know, I'm, I'm far be it for me to judge. But I want to, I want to talk about those of you that actually want good lip syncing, and there really is only one way to do it, or one way that you should be doing it, and that's you can do it manually. And there's, I'm not going to say anything about those of you that have the, uh, the time and the patience and the energy to do it manually. More power to you. But I would highly recommend using Papagayo, uh, which is a free software program written by Mike Clifton, the author of Anime Studio. And uh, he wrote this to, to work in concert with Anime Studio. It's still available on the Smith Micro site. They don't, they don't really promote it all that much, but they really should. It's dead solid simple to use, but the problem is that there's a couple of bugs with it that I've talked about in the past that make it... Uh, a uh, little more difficult than it needs to be. And, and the difficulty in the process, uh, I think, stops a lot of people from using it as much as they should. Because otherwise, I don't know why you'd want to do anything else but for um, lip sync other than Papagayo. Uh, but I want to show you briefly what I've done, a couple things recently to make it even easier. So here's, uh, I'm not going to go through how to use Papagayo because if you want to find out, ask questions on our forum or whatever, or read the help manual, whatever, it's not, there's not much to it. But I want to show you what I've done uh, to, to facilitate the process. And to do that, I'm going to open up a, um, a file here. Uh, we're just going to go to this scene one. This is a, a scene I'm working on for uh, that, that you'll recognize. And, and what I've done here, I hope you'll notice this. First of all, I want to talk about a couple of things. If you load in a short, a very short audio sequence in Papagayo, let's say it's 10, 15 seconds or whatever, it's easy to sync. And uh, if you've ever tried it that way, and you really should, you'll say, oh, you know, I don't see what the big fuss is. The, the fuss, the problem is using it for longer sequences. Use anything over 30 seconds can be a real pain in the bottom to try to sync up. And I'll explain why that is. And, but, but I want to say that sometimes your audio will not be as big a pain as it could be otherwise, okay? So what I'm going to show you is this is how to alleviate all the pain. But if you're not experiencing any pain, don't let me don't let me put you off from it. In other words, if you're using Papagayo and it's working great for you and you don't you know have any reason to to change your workflow, don't worry about it. But if you've either not used Papagayo and you're going to try it sometime, or if you've used it in the past and you think ah, it just doesn't work for me, I want you to at least give it a shot with these with these new tools I have. So anyway. Here's what happens is I loaded an audio file. You put the type the text in. What I do is always copy and paste the text. That's easy from your, uh, you know, from your script. And if you'll notice what's happened is, as a default, Papagayo puts in all the text at the very beginning of the file. And it, and it doesn't pad it out. So here we get down to, which is almost the, the middle of the file. And there's all this audio that remains, okay? And in the past, and I have talked about this in another video, but in the past, what I've had to do is drag each one of these sentences out. So you had to drag all this stuff out, which is which is a drag. <laughs> and that's how it comes from. So, it, and it's worse because the, the more you drag these these uh, sentences out, the more you have to drag them. Because you can, I think you can see if you drag this one out, then you got more space there. And then the next one you have to drag even further. And, and eventually, when you're getting down to the very beginning, you know you're you're catching up to yourself because these parts are are here. But it's, it just takes a long time just to align the text, which is half the battle in Papagayo. It's just trying to align those sentences. So what I did was I wrote a program. You save this file out the way it is. And, um, and I wrote a program uh, in Anime Studio Script. And you go to the script, and you um, it's called pa Pad Papagayo. And once again, I'm going to make this available in the public area if it isn't already. It probably is, but, it's, uh, but I'll, I'll make it available uh, to where you can you can find it easily, and so what you do is you simply go in and you uh, load up the particular scene, uh, the the Papagayo scene, the PGO file that you save for not not the DAT file, that's the final file, but the the PGO. So in this case, I would I would load in the uh, the scene one, P 
PGO file, and it will it'll just go ahead and process. As a matter of fact, I'll do it. It just goes ahead and processes it that quickly. So it, it parses out the lines and it parses the audio. And basically, what it does, if I can show you now, if we go to Papagayo again, uh, and we'll load in the padded file, is so you can see this file doesn't isn't you know padded in any way. So we open up the next file, and the padded version of that file now. Has, what it's done is it's spaced out the text, see, so it's all the way to the end of the file. So now, it, it isn't perfect still. It's, it's done its best job, but what it is is it's a lot easier to line up these lines. As you can see, as a matter of fact, going through here, it takes probably less than 10 seconds to line up all the... Uh, well, not what 10 seconds would be. Well, maybe 30 seconds. But it's rather it would have take minutes and minutes before to line it up. And here, it's just it's almost all lined up for me. Now, uh, some cases, again, this works better than others. Um, it just depends on the audio file and, and how fast you speak and how many rest stops you have in between your, your lines. Another thing I can give you as a hint is it really helps if you break your sentences down into resting spots. So when you're talking in your script, if somebody pauses at the end, break that as a, as a sentence, even if they might, even if the sentence might be longer than that. If they have a long pause or a, even a, just a, a natural pause, like after a comma, break that into a sentence when you're when you're using Papagayo. But I can give you other tools. But anyway, this is so that's the main tool that that I wrote is that, that like I say, you just drag this out, and you, I think you can see that this is a whole lot easier. <laughs> To, to line up than uh, than in the old version of, of Papagayo. Like I'm sorry, in the st in using the standard Papagayo, uh, you can see that within just a very few seconds, I can get this all lined up. And uh, matter of fact, I'll I'll finish this out in the video just so you can see how quick it is. It, it would have taken me at least ten minutes, maybe longer, to line up that other one. It might it might have taken me you know a half an hour sometimes, depending upon how long the audio is. And here I can literally do it in a minute, and, and it's done. So that's it. So that script's available. I, I highly recommend that you use it. The other thing that I've done, and I'm going to post this as well, is one of the things about Papagayo that you, that you might want to look at, it, uh, and I can't, I can't demo it for you because I'm, I'm already using a directory that fixes the problem, but what it would do, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll do this here. You can see these are individual phonemes, okay? So as you move through, and here's a sample mouth over here onto the right-hand portion of the screen, so you can see how the mouth works as you move. So here's two phonemes here. There's an O and there's an etc. for example, if you can see that. As, and over on the other side, well, you want to point with my finger, but you can't see that. On the other side of the screen with the mouse, you can see that the, the mouth position is in the O position. And then as it moves to etc. The close is to, or it has a smile position. That's its cetera position. So, a phoneme causes a change in the mouth position. As it stands now, the standard di dictionary that's used in Papagayo uh, will generate a lot of duplicate phonemes. And now that's not the standard dictionary's fault. It's because the standard dictionary wasn't developed specifically for Papagayo. Mike Clifton used a a standard phoneme dictionary that's available out on the web there. And it has a lot more phonemes than Papagayo actually uses. Papagayo actually uses, I think, about 10 different phonemes. There's a whole mess of different phonemes available, probably, I don't know, 30 or 40. I haven't looked it up. And because of that, you end up with duplicate phonemes next to each other. In particular, you end up with duplicate etc. next to each other. Now, if there's an etc., see, like here, there's an etc. here at the end of this word. And... If you have that etc. there, you watch the mouth position on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see at the end of the word, the, uh, well, actually, I haven't, I'll do it this way. At the end of the word, <laughs> the mouth should close, and then it opens again at the start of the word. The duplicate phonemes are not a problem except inside of a word. So if, for example, I were to change this phoneme from AI, I think I can do that with the, uh, uh, or how is it? I thought I could do it with the right mouse button click. Or maybe that's in the other, <laughs> that's in the other version. Anyway, um, hmm. the scientist. Yeah, I thought there was a, oh, there we go. Okay, break down the word scientist. Okay, I'm going to change this to where there's two etc. in a row because I want to show you something. If there's two etc. in a row in the word, actually in this case now there's three etc. Watching the mouth position, you'll see it doesn't change at all. That's because the mouth is in that one phoneme position. It doesn't have to change between etc. So what I did was I went into the standard dictionary and I edited it 
the dictionary and removed all the duplicate phonemes. So you can see, if you, if you scan through here, you don't see two etc. in the same word in a row. If you were to look at this without that, with just the standard dictionary, you'd see all kinds of etc. in a row. Uh, actually, I do see two etc. here. Well, I wanted to, to explain that too. I haven't quite got all of them out of there. There's uh, The whole dictionary is uh, 100,000 lines, literally. And I'm using a text and replace editor. And, and now I see that there's a word that I have to go through and, and get that. But I will. And, uh, but, but the dictionary I have has the vast majority out of them. Now, why should that matter to you? Well, it matters it, for two reasons. First of all, if you get out the excess phonemes, you don't need those phonemes anyway. Uh, is it more processing? Maybe, but it will create more keys for you, and those keys then are, are more keys on the timeline, which is never a good idea to have more keys, particularly if you're going to remove them or delete them or edit them or remove them or whatever. But far more importantly than that is if you have to move the phonemes within the words, and a lot of times we do, and, and I, I'm trying to find an example of one here. I'll show you one. A good case is whenever there's a vowel sound, this one symbol. See, he, starts the, he actually starts the AI symbol around here. So we would move this phonem, uh, we'd grab the hold of this phonem, and move it to the start of that. So, uh, or maybe back there a little bit, but in any case, we'd move the phonem around. If you have a lot of duplicate phonems, though, that you don't need duplicates of, it's hard to move them because they'll run into each other, and you'd have to keep moving them and shoving them. And So by using this dictionary that I've done, that's gone through and winnowed out all the ones, not only do you have not nearly as many phonems, I think I've, I've gotten reduced by about, I don't know, by a third, uh, but it, it'll just be a lot easier to edit the Papagayo file if you have to edit the individual phonemes. So I'm going to make both of those things available. Boy, this is going on longer than I wanted it to go. But in any case, the, the Papagayo, that what I call the pad Papagayo, it's a script and it goes not in your tool directory, so it won't take up valuable tool space. It's a menu script. So just put it in your menu directory if you want to use it. And, um, and then this uh, standard dictionary, which goes in the Papagayo folder. It's in the, you'll have to find where the Papagayo program is on your machine. Um, but it is, uh, da, 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 in my particular machine, it happens to be in Program Files, of course, Papagayo, and then it's in the Resources, and then Dictionary. And so there's a standard dictionary, and as you can see, my standard dictionary is edited as of today, because I've been still working on editing that dictionary, and I'm going to keep editing it, and I'll keep posting the latest version. As always, all of our files hosted on our site uh, are always have the latest version. So if I make any improvements, and hopefully if other people make improvements as well, uh, they will uh, hopefully have the latest versions. So once again, that's using Papagayo with the new improvements. I highly recommend it for lip sync. Nothing beats it. If you if you do nothing more than just drag out the sentences close by, you'll get you'll be 95% better than what's built into Anime Studio. And, and if you then take the time to go ahead and actually move some of the individual phonemes around, you will have expert lip sync that can compare to anything you can see on television or the movies. And I'll tell you, they pay lip sync people a lot of money. Just look at any of the, uh, like the Simpsons video at the end, and look at the lip sync people, and you'll see a whole crew does lip sync for, the, for that. Uh, so anyway, I uh, hope to see you around. Take care.